Welcome to our video devotional here at Covenant Keepers Ministries. It's Wednesday, December the 8th, 2021. We've been reading this scripture on Monday and Tuesday. I want to read it again today. It's Romans 5, 3, 4, and 5. And remember, this is in the context of us discussing how character is refined and defined by adversity and trouble. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance, character, and character, hope. Now, hope does not disappoint <clears throat> because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So we talked yesterday that character uh, is developed by fire. Well, today our our character, the second step in purifying our character, refining our character is perseverance. Endurance builds the strength that allows us to, to go ahead and persevere in any trial, that we won't abandon serving God, won't give up our faith. But also what's happening is purity and godliness are being formed in us. Character that cannot withstand the storms of life is not strong enough to be called true character. Only repeated wins and difficulties can create the kind of flexibility and purpose that will ensure that we have the inner stamina to last a lifetime. See, we don't get to live six months out, six years out, 16 years out. We don't get to live way out to the future. We, we get to live today and be refined in our character today. But what's happening while well, we're being tested, stamina is developing in us. Endurance is being built in us. Character is being formed. And so character must be solidified through drought, hard trying times, and mountaintop experiences. All of them help to, to give us the perseverance that purifies our character. You see, if it isn't true that once you go through a, a specific trial, you'll never have to face that trial again, it, that, that isn't going to happen. That's just not true. Once you go through a specific trial, doesn't mean that you'll never face that same trial again. But it does mean you'll, you'll be better equipped to face the next one. <laughs> the good news, considered by many to be the bad news, is that the storms of life do not subside with age or terms of service. So just because I went through 25 storms or 2,500 storms doesn't mean that I passed through all the storms of life. There's going to be some more, and they're going to be different. They're going to be more challenging. Some of them are going to be repetitious. And so I'd like to tell you this is good news, because as long as we're on planet Earth, we will face trouble, trial, and persecution. It's going to happen. And during all of that, God's going to be right there at your side. And you're going to be determining whether you're in the captain's seat or your trust is in the God who can do anything to whom nothing is impossible. So when we bring up this word tribulations, we, we're saying you're going to go through much tribulation to inherit the kingdom of God. And that's what the word of God teaches us. And tribulation refers to all kinds of trials, which may press in upon us. This includes such things as financial or physical need, trying circumstances, the pressures of sorrow, sickness, persecution, mistreatment, loneliness. And it's during these afflictions that God's grace enables us to seek his face more diligently and produces in us a persevering spirit and character that overcomes the trials and the troubles of life. And so as we learn to persevere, just keep pushing through. Not worried about, it needs to be over today. We're gonna to make it through. Instead of driving us to despair and hopelessness, tribulation produces perseverance. Exactly what the word of God says. Tribulation produces us persevering, enduring. And perseverance brings forth proven character, and proven character results in mature hope that will never be disappointed. 
And God's grace enables us to look beyond our present problems to a fervent hope in God and a certain hope for the return of our Lord to establish righteousness and godliness in the new heaven and new earth. And in the meantime, while on earth, we have the love of God shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit to comfort us in our trials and bring Christ's presence near. And he uses in Romans 5, verse 5, the word hope. But I want you to hear this because Jesus addressed this as well. And sometimes we get we just get caught up with life and we get so overwhelmed. Poor me, it's I'm the one facing most of the trouble. Look at these people who are enjoying life and I'm I'm in trouble. And God's defining your character and He's producing something in you that maybe at this moment you can't see ahead what it's gonna look like. But if you'll just keep persevering, God will take care of you. Here's what Jesus said, John 14, verse 16 through 23. I know it's a little longer portion of scripture. Listen to it. And I will pray the Father. Jesus is speaking here. I will pray the Father and he'll give you another helper that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he dwells with you and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. A little while longer and the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live, you will live also. At, day, at that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and manifest myself to him. And Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, <clears throat> how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, if anyone love me, he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. I want you to hear this. In your affliction right now, in any trial or trouble you are in right now, if you love God and keep his commandments, he's taken up residence in you. He is with you today. He'll not leave you nor forsake you. So keep persevering, keep enduring, and watch God not only refine your character, but bring you through better on the other side and to his honor and glory and praise. Heavenly Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray encouragement into every person who watches this devotional. You're our God and we take delight in you. In this light affliction, which is but for a moment, it's just a moment in terms of eternity. It's just a short time frame. Even if it seems like it's been 10 years, it's just a short time frame. And we're going to be better. We're going to be more like Jesus. You're going to receive more glory and honor. And the benefit to us is this deep sense of satisfaction that the promises of God are yes and amen to those who believe. So the hope that you're putting in us, that you're that you're producing, originating in us is birthed out of heaven. And we're receiving that hope today. The future is bright because we've trusted in you. Glory to God. Thank you for helping us. You gave us a, a paraclete, a divine paraclete, one called alongside to help the Holy Spirit to be in us, to strengthen us in this hour. And I praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a blessed day today. God's with you. He hasn't left you. And you're going to come through this.